when we talk about sumit vyas there is one series that always comes in our mind and that is permanent roommates that is absolutely a uh, favorite for most of your fans so i uh, wanted to know for your fans of course that how much can you relate to your character mikesh chaudhary is there any similarity between real life sumit vyas and real life mukesh chaudhary uh i mean well, i think spiritually there there would be some uh, similarity um because it is coming from me uh but the fact that i really uh, took on this part and i enjoyed doing this part was uh mikesh chaudhary is, is actually far removed from who i am as a person uh, he's, mm-hmm. he's very very different from who i am in life i wish i was uh, as uh, fun as mikesh but i'm not i'm so sort of very simple and dull i would say okay uh, he's a he's a really really fun person mikesh uh, so so yeah and that's the magic of poetry too right we we get to be people who we are not we indeed we get to uh, we get to play characters that we we would actually admire and wish you know we could uh, we could be like them a very true indeed actually i think that is the beauty of this industry that who you are and uh, what you are uh, going to recite in a series is completely different and you learn so much about about that character that you start uh, including that in in your real life as well so okay. as we came to know that you were also into the theater productions in india so could you tell us more about your experience in your early days when you were working in the productions in theaters in india uh yeah uh, i basically started off with theater only uh, so uh, in 17 years old or something in 2000 oh wow uh, so so that where it all began actually for me and uh, i've actually been doing theater since then it'd be 20 years now roughly uh, since i've been doing plays so uh, that the theater is has sort of taken a back seat uh, but yeah i think you can say since two, 2014 both so, permanent roommates i also ended up doing a lot more work uh for the camera for films and web series and other ways mm-hmm. uh that's when uh theater sort of took a back seat and i i couldn't do uh, a lot of big plays at that time i was only doing shows of existing plays i couldn't mount a new play so i mean theater was everything it was school college it was education for me Awesome, awesome. Well, it would have been a wonderful experience since you started uh, at the age of seventeen years, and till now the um, journey has always been amazing because you have fans. Not, and I must tell you that it's not only in India. Even when we talk about Sumit Vyas in UAE, the type of response that we get is just commendable. Oh, so sweet, so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, uh, since well, we were talking about permanent roommates. So, there were a lot of characters that you have played, even in Bollywood, even in theaters, even in series. So, you know, out of your characters, let's say Mikesh in Permanent Roommates, Bihari, in fact, uh, from stories by Rabindranath Tagore, English, mm-hmm. English, um, and uh, movies like Ribbon, series like uh, Love for Square Feet, We Are the Wedding, and Made in China. uh mm-hmm. we wanted to know for uh, that which was which one uh, did you enjoy the most which role did you enjoy the most i mean, i mean they're all very very different roles you know uh, to say that i enjoyed one more than the other was uh, a little unfair but uh, but after lot i would say mikesh is something i enjoyed doing the most because a, it has worked so well uh, it sort of you know took off things really took off for me like people really started noticing that i existed before that nobody knew that i existed i had been working for 14 years before that uh in that sense it it really worked for me and also i really enjoyed doing that show in general because it was done it was uh, it didn't feel like we were doing something uh we were going on shoot it felt like i was working with a bunch of friends and we were trying to create something new something interesting it was the first web series made in india yeah uh, exactly that, yeah there were no web series being made here uh, that was made 
CVF was bold enough to put in their money and energy into making and trying something new. Uh, and because it worked, because people really liked it and, you know, appreciated it, uh, everybody just took notice of the fact that this is a uh, this is an avenue where we can tell stories, we can do our own thing. Uh, so I don't think TF should take the entire credit of web series working in India, but they were definitely the ones to start it. To, yes. To take the first step, take the leap, I would say. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think after a permanent roommates, there were so many versatile um, actors and the directors that came up with uh, such brilliant ideas in web series. So I think uh, somewhere or the other, the um, the credit goes to Mikesh Chaudhary as a character as well as permanent roommates as a setup. So uh, it was a brilliant uh, overall setup and people could actually relate to it because it was so emotional and it was so... Uh, you know, a real time that people were actually able to uh, relate to it, uh, not like the, uh, you know, these commercial movies or the commercial brands. So mm. it was uh, amazing to roll on for. So could we actually say that, uh, it, is it one of the series that you enjoy the most shooting for? I would say that, yeah. I really enjoyed uh, working in permanent movies a lot. Great, great. Then since, well, we are talking about web series and uh, your roles in um, Bollywood as well, there is uh, one person that I really want to talk to you about and I believe that our fans would also like to know that you work with Sri Devi Ji in uh, English English. Well, we all yeah. know that Sri Devi Ji was known for her exceptional acting skills as well as her adorable look. English yeah. English truly recited the struggles of a housewife. So we yeah. wanted to know, how was your experience working uh, with the Hava Hawaii of the Bollywood industry? It was great. It was it was a enlightening experience, I would say. Uh, for, for me, she was always the superstar, uh, you know, not just for me, for everyone, I would say. Uh, I think I can still remember the first day when we were going to shoot and we were waiting for her to come. Uh, I think hers was the second scene of the day or something. And everybody was a little intimidated, though, she she's going to come and she's going to come. And then, you know, we got busy doing our own thing. And then I was just wondering if she had come. And <laughs> the director told me, yeah, she's here. She's been sitting here. And I could just see her sitting in one chair, casually doing nothing. And through the shoot, you know, like the first five, ten days of shoot, we kept wondering that, you know, because it was a, we were in a classroom and we were all, friends and we were hanging out together and yes. improvising together uh, and all of that. And she she would see us, but she would not really uh, join us. So I thought, okay, okay, maybe she's a big star. She's a senior, so she doesn't want to. And then one day the director told us, no, no, she's very shy. And oh, I was like, okay. <laughs> How is that even possible? We should be shy. We are nobody. She's a superstar. And, uh, but that's who she was. She was a, she was a, stroke of lightning once the camera was on and the moment the camera would shut she would just be this shy coy person who was sitting there did not have any frills you know none of those uh, things or ideas you have of a superstar you know when they walk into a room they have this aura and they destroy everything none of that nonsense she was just a normal person sitting and doing her thing and that's when it really uh, it was like a goal that I had in my head that, oh, I want to be a guy, a person like this, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. I have to be a superstar because of the work I do, not because of what I do after my work is done. Not mm -hmm. because I wear, yeah. you know, fancy boots and walk into a room and throw people around and do something stupid. No, I I should just be a very, very normal person, a regular person like everybody else. It should be the work that I do that makes me superstar. And... Uh, I learned it from her, the similarity, uh, yeah, the, the simplicity. Actually, you know, because uh, uh, because superstars are human beings at the end of the day, and Sri Devi Ji was one person who truly admired that, and she truly reflected that in her personality, as per your experience that you're sharing with us. I believe that. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, uh, Sumit, there was one more thing. So there was recently, there was one series that we watched called Open Letters, which was by Wakefit. 
So yeah. uh, <laughs> that was one of the hilarious moments actually that I would like to share it with you. So me and my husband, we were sitting together and we were watching your series. And uh, where you mentioned, you know, the struggles of a husband during the COVID-19 lockdown. Well, honestly, while watching the same, my husband was completely convinced that it's not just happening with him. So, you know, we wanted to ask you, so are you facing a similar situation at your home with your wife where you struggle to wash all your dishes and find all the spoons of your kitchen in the sink? <laughs> no, no, it was... Uh... one it was a, it was actually like a campaign for uh, this brand called big fit yes, and they yes. they wanted to make interesting videos that are uh, that are relatable yes. so that's where it came from the writer had written a very wonderful and relatable script for the that and uh, yeah i mean i i didn't struggle so much in washing vessels because i really <laughs> enjoy washing vessels it's oh, very it's therapeutic for me i do uh, not like doing uh, pocha That oh. I <laughs> that is the toughest one. Okay, okay, but I believe now, right now, when this whole pandemic time is going on, I in fact read it somewhere, and some of our fans also tweeted that things that uh, men in specific have learned is that when you do jhoda a uh, jhado, then you have to go forward. When you do pocha, you have to go backwards. So I believe you might yes. have learned the same as well. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Great. So uh, since um when we, since we are talking about your career we also know that you are a passionate writer as well and uh, so could you tell us which genre do you really prefer and is there any upcoming writers that you wish to tell your fans in ua as well as worldwide uh genres i have so far only written rom coms and family dramas i wrote this one called love first square foot i wrote a series called uh, tripling Yes, yes. TV after thing, yes. Yeah, and then there was another series I written called Bang Baja Parat. It was for Yash Raj. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's still there on YouTube. It had Ali Fazal and Angira in it. Yes. So that I wrote. So I've all, all only written those kind of family, uh, you know, uh, slice of life dramas so far. Uh, what I really want to explore is. uh action i want to explore thrillers so that is the kind of shows that i would love to explore from here on yeah what's the reality is do. yes what's the reality yeah. is indeed something that uh we believe that you are um, going to portray in your upcoming write ups as well yeah i would like to yeah. Okay great. Uh well since we also came to know that you are from a city called Jodhpur Sun City of Rajasthan. So yes. how do you describe your journey growing up from Sun City to the city of dreams Mumbai? Uh I to be very honest I came to Mumbai when I was 4 years old. Okay. Uh, my father moved to Bombay in 81 or 82 1982. and uh, after four so the first four years of my life i was in jodhpur but i was really young uh, while my father was you know trying to find his feet in bombay and then they called me to bombay so since i was four i have been a bombay kid uh, but i would go back to jodhpur every you know summer vacation and winter vacation so jodhpur for me is a memory of you know, the only memory i have of jodhpur is holidays you know i would go for my holidays for my vacations to jodhpur uh the longest time for many many years i think uh, until until my grandfather passed until we were in our uh, late teens uh, we were going to jodhpur every year and then we stopped oh okay okay well uh, yeah. going off traffic uh, uh, topic and since let's talk about this uh, trending thing which is going on right now indian premier league which is going to be hosted by united arab emirates Yes, so yes. are you fond of cricket? I am. Oh, I am great. really fond of cricket. Oh that's awesome. So which team are you really supporting in IPL? Chennai Super Kings always. Oh that's I've nice. I'm a huge Dhoni fan so I've been with Chennai for all these years. Oh so it must have been a very uh, heartbroken heartbreaking news for you as well when Dhoni actually announced retirement. Yes yes. But he's going to play the IPL. I think it's you know give up on that yet awesome awesome well before i conclude this interview i wanted uh, 
to uh, ask if you have a message that you would like to give your fans in UAE uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, just firstly, thank you. Uh, it's it's very uh, heartwarming to know that you know there are people in UAE who watch our shows, who watch our content. and who are aware that we exist and they they show so much love and affection to us very very sweet to know that uh, and yeah just be safe be healthy i think uh, i wish all of them good health yeah good health uh, we could resolve all the other issues in life true actually and i believe the reason that you have so much of fans in ua is because how uh, how much they can relate to your acts whether it is web series or we talk about your write ups or we talk about your bollywood uh, debuts as well it was just amazing for the fans also to see such a versatile actor and a very real time experience that they feel with your acting and your writing so i think uh, thanks to you too for you know entertaining people worldwide and we hope we bless you that your uh, fans just grow every day by day even in uae thank in you. india as well as worldwide thank you thank you thank so you. much thank it's you great so great. much sumit it was really great talking to you in fact i am also one of your fans from permanent mm-hmm. roommates itself and i think the reason why i was watched the stories by ravindranath tagore is only because of the character bihari So, so thank you so sweet. much for enlightening us and entertaining us uh, till now and we hope that uh, that will go on thank you so much to me for your time thank you